I urge you first of all to pray for all people. Ask God to help them. Intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. This is good and pleases God our Savior who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. For there is only one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity, the man Christ Jesus. He gave his life to purchase freedom for everyone. This is the message God gave to the world at just the right time. That's in essence uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, written by the Apostle Paul. I've been asked to share a couple of thoughts as it regards the executive branch, or branches rather, in our nation. <clears throat> After which I should be joined by Pastor Shante, and then we'll all pray for the executive branches of our nation. And it's, it's interesting because I think it was the weekend of April 15th, by divine appointment and obedience on my part, I had to go to the Washington, D.C. area and spend some time, some time with a, uh, a spiritual father of mine. And most of the folks that I'm close with know that I went on that trip. And I'm really, really beginning to realize why the Lord had me go in that I was asked to participate tonight. And I'll spend about two minutes sharing. I took some notes of things that the Lord revealed to me by discernment and by mentoring and impartation while I was there. And it basically centers around this. And it all emphasizes the reason why we need to hold our mayors and their staffs, our parish presidents and their staffs, our governors and their staffs, and our president and his staff before the Lord and keep the blood of Jesus pled on them daily and request the Holy Spirit to saturate them immediately after you plead the blood. Here is why. We have discovered, and I see clearly, having been there two, three weeks ago, that there are four streams that are moving, spiritual streams, in the earth that are trying to gain control of this nation. One is the one world government or shadow government system. You can research that for yourself. The other one is the spirit of Allah in Islam. And then there's another one, and that's basically the nation of China, who vowed about right after the Second World War that they would actually invade this country they studied Japan to make certain that they would not make the same mistakes that Japan did. But the Lord frustrated that by giving them commercial success. And Jesus began to appear to high-level leaders in the nation of China who are now secret Christians. And one of the strongest churches on the face of the planet is the underground church in China. But there is a stream of the spirit of the enemy that would love to use China as his launching pad. And then finally, that, third, that fourth stream is the kingdom of God. Now they all run on a track, just like a railroad track. They run parallel, but they will never meet. And as we progress through this, we will begin to understand that everything that's going on in the world and our nation and our country, all of the turmoil, is simply because there will continue to be a decline of man-made government. But in it all, God expects his people to be protected. And so we need to pray for our executive leaders. The kingdom of God is expanding. The world system is collapsing. Even though they are both moving in the same direction, they can never meet. And those who choose to serve God must simply change tracks. Now, as it regards, in more particular, we want to, as Brother Shanti gets ready to come up and lead us in prayer, we want to hold our president and his family before the Lord. We all know that no president is perfect. No administration is perfect. 
But never before since the enactment of the National Day of Prayer has this particular day not been recognized in the White House. And because of that, I discerned while I was there, there are hordes of demons and demonic activity that have never really been able to invade this land because of the stand, at least by the executive branch, that are flooding this nation. Hordes of demonic activity from like Haiti and from India and from certain parts of Africa. And this is why we're seeing random killings more than we've seen before in our communities. And we're seeing weather conditions that are off the chart. I'm just telling you what I discerned while I was there and I made notes of it. And so it's kind of like David as I make a close to my remarks. David messed up twice. When he wouldn't take care of his business with his son and the sin he committed with that Sheba that was always turmoil in his household. But when he made another mistake and didn't obey his generals and his leadership and his prophets and he took a census in doubt and unbelief, the people suffered. Thousands of Israelites died. But yet, that was hope for David because God said he was yet a man after my own heart. So it's a principle. We need to pray for our executive leadership in our local communities, such as Mayor Rito, who's here tonight, our parish presidents, our governors, and our president. Because the decisions they make, particularly if it's a slap in the face of God, affects tens of thousands of lives. It releases the enemy to take ground or to come in and frustrate territory that before he was not able to do. And it is happening now. But it stops tonight. Amen. Amen. Yeah, give him a hand, praise. And so we want to plead the blood of Jesus over the president. And then we want to plead the blood of Jesus over his children. Because in our day, the Bible says the children... Sometimes our children will draw us to the Lord. Whatever it takes, those two little girls, if they're not born again, shall know Jesus soon. And Michelle and Barack will not be able to deny it. Amen? He's a good man. And we need to hold him before the Lord because nonetheless, David was a good man. But the people suffered when he messed up in his mistakes. So we need to guard him and anybody else who occupies that office from here on out and we lift up our local mayors and our local parish presidents and governor general and every governor in this country brother shante please come forward we're going to bow our hearts and we're going to pray for the executive branch Amen. the posture of this prayer is for everyone to be on their knees so please let's humble ourselves before god and I believe in the touch of agreement, as the Bible teaches us. So I would like for everyone to pray. I mean, just repeat what I say as we touch and agree. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we touch and agree, in this most holy name, we lift up President Barack Obama and his wife and his children. We thank you for pleading. We plead the blood of Jesus over their lives. We bind, in the name of Jesus, every force of darkness that might attempt to hinder their family and their thought process and their decisions in any sort of way. And we cast those demonic forces back into the pits of hell, in the name of Jesus. We lift up Mayor Harold Rito and all of his staff and his family. We plead the blood of Jesus over their lives. And we thank you for your heavenly protection and allow them to walk in victory and success and speak to them and guide them and protect them through every decision that they make. We lift up our Governor Bobby Jindal and his family and all of the executive department. And Heavenly Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over his life. And we decree 
that every decision that he makes is in accordance with your holy will. And we lift up all of the executive branches around the country. And as we touch and agree, we decree that the light of God is released from the kingdom of heaven in all of their lives, in all of their households, in all of their offices, throughout the United States of America, your light is released in the name of Jesus Christ. And every person who has to make a decision from the executive department makes it in accordance with your holy will. All of these things we lift up to you in the name of your beloved Son and our beloved Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Amen and amen.